Tak kalau orang burukkan air, mengaibkan air, malukan anak Dia ramai lagi orang yang tengok tu Pelang tabut kata Oh my god, anak saya pun buat macam ni Then only different because I'm chef one Suddenly the whole world kelang kabut Nak tahu pasal bawah kain air ni Nak selak ni ha. Yang semua nak tengok bawah kain ni Ayah masuk Ayah masuk Dulu-dulu saya ingat Akak-akak ataupun makcik-makcik je Yang suka personality yang ada bersama dengan kita di studio hari ini tetapi tidak ya penonton semua meleset sama sekali tekaan saya itu bukan satu dunia worldwide mengagumi beliau malah mengiktiraf Insan ini dalam bidang yang diceburinya Assalamualaikum nama saya AD Junaidi Dan yang bakal berkongsi uh, kisah suka duka pahit manis kehidupan ataupun perjalanan karier yang sendiri Berbesar hati sangat-sangat kami di studio Sinar Plus hari ni Kita ada, ini dia, Datuk Rezwan Ismail Ataupun Syekh apa khabar Datuk? Alhamdulillah Tadi you guna perkataan apa? Melecet? <laughs> Melecet? Melecet Ah ha, Melecet Haa, ha, gitu eh, Kan apa benda tadi? Ha, maklumlah Datuk tua ni dia pekak sikit Haa, kan Jadi ha, Datuk, ha, uh, ya. Datuk sihat Alhamdulillah eh? Alhamdulillah, masih lagi bernyawa Masih lagi orang kata Mati tau sking, you know, air kat rumah ni Air lah orang gaji, air lah tukang kebun Air lah tukang caretaker jaga mak Air tukang jaga kucing Tukang segala tukang lah ha. Ha. But you know what, life goes on ha. yeah. That's why you see I'm always Even at my age now, 63 I'm always, orang kata, moving about uh, Healthy hmm. You know, kata tak pernah satu hari tu Orang kata yang uh, boleh katakan saya ni Orang kata boleh duduk aja tak ada buat yeah. kerja lah kan ha. Betul, oleh demikian kami nak berterima kasih banyak-banyak kepada Datuk Rizal Ismail Ataupun bersiap panggil Chef Wan Datuk eh Boleh Boleh sebabnya uh, Tak payah Datuk Datuk, Datuk lah <laughs> Sudi <laughs> orang tu nak squeeze time uh, kan uh, Untuk Sina Plus Tak payah Datuk Datuk lah You know uh, <laughs> Banyaknya eh, sekarang ni eh, Batuk dia dapat Tan Sri dah <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Tapi sebenarnya Ini ada doktor depan yang tak tahu ke ah, uh, uh, You don't play play Okay okay okay, okay, okay. Uh, I Datuk doktor Doktor Falsafah yes. Chef Wan Betul uh, Tapi tak pula panggil Datuk okay. je lah Tak pula Tak <laughs> Uh, tak ada panggil Chef Wan yeah. mm. I think I'm more comfortable uh, You know People just addressing me As, as Chef Wan Chef Wan uh, eh? Okay uh. Itu dia Chef Wan ni Orangnya kelakar Orangnya memang Kalau bila bercakap tu Kadang-kadang kita tahu Kat mana dia punya Tanda koma Ataupun titik nota <laughs> dia kan? <laughs> Tapi dalam bahasa yang sama juga Chef Wan ni memang Orang kata loud Lantang Kalau menyuarakan sesuatu Tak kira siapa apa keluarga ke orang luar ke Kalau salah tetap salah Tetap kena bantai hmm. Tetapi kita nak cerita tentang Chef Wan pada hari ini. Okay uh, Nama Chef Wan tu orang tahu Dalam uh, bidang kulineri Sebagai celebrity chef hmm. Worldwide tahu Chef Wan Tetapi nak tahu juga Macam mana agaknya Insan bernama Rezwan Ismail tu Apa yang menyebabkan Dia Menjadi chef ha, Macam mana I think boleh imbas kembali ya Pasal uh, My past history lah eh The story of my life You know, I started uh, Dari awal Sebagai seorang kanak-kanak Yang yang uh, Rajin uh, Also um, uh, Suka orang kata uh, Menimba ilmu ya. Yeah? So, dari kecil Memang sikap Wan Seorang kanak-kanak Yang very Orang kata uh, Curious ya. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Selalu nak ambil tahu Kepo lah orang kata kan you know? uh, Jadi uh, Sibuk Tengok benda And I And I realise Daripada awal pun Banyak orang yang cakap Pada saya uh, I tend to mature more uh, Faster than Kanak-kanak lain mm-hmm. Walaupun umur 1, 7, 8 tahun Tapi dah nampak uh, Cara pemikiran saya Cara uh, You know Saya bekerja uh, Dan segalalah Persona saya ni So as a result of that Um dari awal uh, pembentukan uh, orang kata uh, sifat-sifat saya uh, memang anak yang tua yang yang terpaksa membantu ibu lah ya sebab mak ni tiap tahun bersalin mm-hmm. beranak <laughs> maklumlah dulu tak ada TV kan ah oh, ada masa tak can go cik ja kan ah, touch go touch go jadi mak aku kita tahu kadang-kadang dia kan kalau orang kecil cik ani tu ah ha, tak pakai pakai je kurung tengok dah mengandung bawa balik anak kata ya Allah bila pula mak aku bunting kan ala hal dia bawa balik anak ah ha, kisah dulu so yang jadi mangsa siapa ai lah yeah. ha lok kita lah jadi mangsa menjaga Adik Tahu lah yang orang dulu-dulu tahu Orang dulu-dulu kalau kita ni Masa tu lah kita nak pun Kata nak tolong mak bengkong hmm. uh, Tu yang kita belajar segala apa Macam mana nak uh, Nak masak ubat periuk untuk mak Makanan-makan dalam pantang So but, but then in, in those days you know Kita bukanlah jenis manusia yang 
yang boleh uh, orang kata cerewet mm-hmm. because we don't have a lot ya yeah? kerana yeah. susah ayah korporal gaji 160 so i realize bila gaji tu kecil jadi kita kena cari some form of income mm-hmm. so one tengok di kemaskar ramai anak askar lain juga berniaga jual kuih tapi my mother dia sebab Cina masuk Islam Pernahkan dia tak apa Pandai sangat uh, Buat-buat kuih-kuih Melayu hmm. Tapi jiran-jiran ramai hmm. So one galakkan mak Untuk belajar hmm. uh, Buat-buat kuih lah hmm. Cucur badak Seri mungka Kuih kesui You know So my mother went there You know to learn So so at the same time Bila mak belajar Kadang saya pun menyelit lah <laughs> Kita pun salin Know that And then uh, after a while I get the, this idea You know mak selalu Tak cukup duit kan Why don't kita menyaga Buat kuih Mak kata My father kata Kau ni kecil Umur 9 tahun Boleh ke nak jual kuih kan hmm. Budak-budak yang jual kuih Semua belasan tahun Oh, yeah. you know budak sebelah 12 you know dah besar dah dah more mature you know, kita nak angkat baku pun macam serik-serik lagi mm. because zaman dulu mm. ayam ni bukan besar sangat kan ah yeah. uh, so going back to that moment in you know, on time you know um, so i i realize you know i was the one yang make it happen mm-hmm. Ah ha, kalau nak nak juga my father kata kau ni kan degil kan orang kata tak boleh tak boleh pun kau nak boleh lah boleh lah kan pergi belajar kan ah ha, so so that's why you notice a lot of the very successful people are people who went out there to make it happen mm-hmm. but you can't you can't achieve that mm-hmm. if you just sit down and do nothing yes. you can't just watch tv hari-hari macam cake makan kan perut boring ni tak buat apa dia tak boleh i mean there's a lot of people out there doing that but yes. then they wonder why some people can make the millions mm-hmm. they wonder why some people can be successful when kita ni bangun pukul 5 pagi teng dah bekerja so that's why in, for me as a young child how i have developed my skill kebolehan i even bercakap ni pun you know mm-hmm. it, it's a skill mm-hmm. you know like if i have to switch uh, your seat down yes. there that's why i can never have my own talk show But kau orang lain tak boleh cakap Aku je cakap je lah Betul lah ha. sebab sekarang ni Aku saya... tanya soalan aku jawab Aku tanya soalan aku jawab kan? <laughs> Saya, saya, ha. saya ha. sekarang ni macam Okay okay Biar ha. biarkan Sebab sekarang ni Chef Wadi dah melangkau Sebab ha. tahu Dua tiga soalan dia ha. dah pergi dah I know, so, I know, I know. Saya, so, saya hari ni kerja Makan gaji buta je lah Kau Duk dengar je lah Kau dengar ha. je lah ha. Kau dengar je lah <laughs> ha. Because the soalan tadi is, is how I Tiba-tiba Betul. So when you look at my history yes. Itu jadi kan ha. You know buat kuih Buat apa Jadi minat tu datang So minat tu daripada kecil Diasah Hmm. Di asal-asal kemudian boleh buat kuih Boleh masak nasi Boleh buat ni And then kita start buat macam-macam So bila tengok orang dah jual Banyak competitor Kita perbaiki kan hmm. kuih-kuih kita Kita berlatih By why? By getting knowledge yeah. By why? By going to learn hmm. So apabila kita tak malu nak belajar Macam-macam kita boleh buat yeah. Lepas tu kita work Lepas tu kita redevelop the recipe Macam orang cakap One punya moto dalam hmm. hidup saya ni Daripada kecil sampai lah sekarang It's very simple Orang boleh yeah. kata apa tau? Good, better, best ah, Dengar ni eh Good, better, best Still good be better I never rest <laughs> ha. Tapi yang sekarang ni Orang nampak Chef Wan Kejayaan dia Yang orang kata nampak Yang seronok-seronok saja Di mata orang luar ni lah kan Tapi mungkin ketika Kisah Datuk membesar Ataupun Sebab saya difahamkan Datuk dulu uh, Pergi abroad Untuk cipta nama tu Banyak yang Datuk Terpaksa korbankan Boleh tak Datuk kongsikan Antara kepayahan Ataupun Kisah I mean you know uh, I don't you can Potong tau Baru kita start cerita sejak Macam mana kita nak jadi chef ni Tiba-tiba dah cerita Belak ke benda aku Dah belak susah belak Belum apa nak suai menangis Macam mana ni <laughs> Orang baru nak warm up nak Sebab kita kita, kita nak bagi tahu orang tahu <laughs> Chef Wan bukan lahir-lahir je Dah senang know, Kita bagi yeah. orang tahu I mean throughout my whole life hmm. I mean there are challenges lah You know I still remember There were moments when When I didn't have enough Tak cukup duit ke Benda I mean it's biasa lah kan uh, Tapi saya Saya cubalah usaha Cari kan Bekerja Macam I was I was in Australia dulu Belajar pun you know And then tak cukup duit pun I jadi Jadi waiter Jadi jadi apa Housekeeper Di San Francisco Nak jadi chef tu Wan biasa kemah rumah orang uh, Jadi biasa angkat you know suasana dalam orang yang ada segala uh, apa darah datang bulan ni dengan segala macam-macam lah you know so you know whatever i need to do Uh, buatlah Saya jadi tukang kebun Tolak orang tua-tua Rumah orang tua-tua To collect money yeah? And then I start cooking As a part-time chef pun ada yeah? So over the years Wan ingat Wan kerja dekat apa ni Dekat uh, uh, pasar Menyusun buah um, In my early years I ingat dekat zaman Felda pun Lepas habis form 5 tu Kerja di uh, What they call that Di Daman Sara Utama First time you know Bawah habis form 5 tu uh, Kukuh kelapa Susun-susun biskut Kedai runcit Even at my young age pun Dari awal kalau Wan tengok uh, Masa cuci sekolah pun saya rajin orang kata kerja di kebun sayur Cina. Mm-hmm. Ha, jadi budak-budak cuci sekolah main bola main apa saya 10 11 tahun ya nanti akan pergi kat kebun Cina cabut rumput-rumput minta Cina tu upahkan ai buat apa-apa kerja lah janji dapat sayur. Mm-hmm. Duit tak bagi dia bagi sayur. Ha. Lepas tu bagi telur ayam 4 biji lepas tu air ni terpaksa lah cedok air daripada lombong sungai besi tu pergi siram. Kita kecil-kecil kan. Ha, taburkan baja, ha, naikkan para-para apa uh, untuk naikkan terung. Ingat lagi apa Cina tu panggil you no. Know? Kemudian kita buat tanam sawi. So from there I learn 
talking about gardening and all that. Those are really tough time because you know working under such hot heat, kita kan nak ganak kan, Betul. panaskan, kulit ni hitam melegam, okay? Macam di Felda, contoh Betul. masa tu 1, 13, 14 tahun balik pada asrama. You know, one angkat buah-buah cok kelapa sawit, meja ni kecil, okay, dek, tu besar zoom kau depan tu, tu kecil tu. <laughs> ya, yeah? ha, boleh kata bila angkat tu, rasa macam nak terkeluar lah tombong perut ni semua. <laughs> It's not easy, ya. Yeah? Petik buah lerai, cok kelapa sawit dengan apa. So, I went through a lot of tough time doing different things in my life you know but that's all part of of the of, of test orang kata Allah punya uh, cara nak 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 menguatkan semangat ai nak bagi ai uh, you know uh, all those pengalaman you know that otherwise i believe i would not be here talking to all of you huh? yeah. because this is a true story of my life you mm-hmm. know and i'm sure so many out there ramai juga yang melalui kesusahan macam wan but we never we never gave up satu dunia kagum dengan chef wan even kalau barisan chef uh, Daripada luar negara pun semua macam Susah dia nak kejar Chef Wan ni kan Tapi bila Chef Wan keluar negara ke buat program ke Kongsi masakan Tapi saya nak tahu sebenarnya Selain daripada masakan bila keluar negara Apa yang Chef Wan kongsi ke dengan orang luar Ada tak benda lain selain masakan pasal Malaysia ke ha. Pasal apa-apa It's so tu? funny you know, the way they bercerita tadi Because it's true ha? Kadang-kadang bila Wan attend a lot of all this World Food Expo eh? Because I I'm, I'm, I'm as a food ambassador for Maltrade Uh, for Malaysian Airline, for Tourism Malaysia, uh, I do represent the country mm. in so many uh, World Food Expo lah. Mm. Mm. And so, what remember? Even uh, pandangan lah, you know, ramai yang ketika tu pun bila one kadang-kadang attend uh, this food sebelah yang masak lah, orang tengok ayah kan, nanti Mak Saleh kata, oh my God, I mean, you you practically knock everyone dead. Uh, dia kata, mana, I pukul habis lah kan, ya. Yeah? Uh, you know, whether they are Jamin, Olela ke, Na- uh, Jamie, apa, Oliver ke, Nigella ke, Gordon Ramsay, all the top gitu. Um, dia kata, when you go on stage, dia kata, you, you, you're so powerful. Uh, I love it because your performance is first class. Dia kata, on one end, you're like a historian. You like a stand-up comedian. You are a chef. You are a food ambassador of the country. I mean, it's incredible. It's incredible to watch you, Chef Wan. They got to and your 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 enormous energy, kan? And 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 then on top of that is the passion, nah? yeah. passion. And you and you're like you're like a bloody walking encyclopedia. <laughs> Boleh ke orang putih kata aku ni bloody walking cyclo every day <laughs> I gelak lah kan Because everything on the fingertip lah kata dia So kita ni bukanlah muji diri kita Tapi ini orang kata So bila kita dengar lah that You know you must have done something right lah kan yeah. So that's why when you talk about uh, my journey Most of the time yang pergi tu It's not just about food mm-hmm. Because when you represent the country It's so important for you to also share uh, You know um, the spirit you know of the nation yes. Meaning you know the history On the evolution of makanan Melayu kita Malaysia ke You know within the area of kurun ke sebelah sampai ke kedatangan baba nyonya dila yap aloy all this china china and then of course early on we have all this orang kata the spice root journey mm. the journey between Melaka and Penang you know about the rainforest in Sarawak yes. Sabah about you know hutan belantara kita ni being orang kata a source of pharmaceutical product you know yang yang boleh buat orang you know ubat-ubat dan Viagra dan mm, macam-macam pun dalam hutan kita pun ada tongkat ahli segala tongkat baba termasuklah kacik patimah and all that semua and sometimes orang putih gelak lah Uh, because I was sharing about this beautiful rainforest yang yang negara kita you know have and that it become so useful to the world and let's not forget even the rainforest also orang kata is a source of of a giant orang kata supermarket where a source mm. of bagai-bagai makanan buah-buahan yang orang dapat that people have survived over the century to where we are today so sharing such history is very important but also you need to understand back the the the, the, the pengaruh makanan budaya all this so when you put everything together macam masak lah. Hmm. Ada rempah hijau Rempah ni kena masuk Ada gulai So bila orang putih Ramai tengok kita Buat performance Mereka tengok like Oh my god hmm. So for me to go in To share that Orang dunia tengok like Wow You know people really respect me yeah. and, and then bila dah habiskan Semua professor-professor All the PhD people Semua kata Semua bangun bagi Asani ovation Wow Saya mendengar ni Chef saya macam Aduh banyaknya kerja Chef nak kena buat ni kan Let's not forget ha? yeah. One pun Biasa keluar In many of the international Talk show mm-hmm. uh, International Na, No celebrity chef Has ever gone on CNN Talk Asia mm, yeah, betul. On CNBC Program mm. driven One keluar apa Channel News Asia mm. NBC America One keluar on BBC World in- Interview With Michelle Hussain So all these Five or six Seven World television talk shows mm. Are platform mm-hmm. Are platform Macam you tengok Hard talk All that yeah. These are all very Prominent people Important people Get invited Into international platform mm-hmm. To share 
Mm. Their knowledge and experience, and one go in as a food ambassador of Malaysia. Yeah. You know, so that's why I'm being on such international show to go live half an hour. Even some of the perdana menteri tell me back. You know, kata they kata saya sendiri nak berada on that kind of show. That I didn't get invited, and there on the list I see Elton John, Kylie Minogue, Jojo Armani, this, 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 and then guess what? Chef Wan, Shah Rukh Khan, you know, kan? Chef Wan, food ambassador of Malaysia. So for me, I'm very proud that that over the years, you know, my career has brought me to the level where where I'm also respected by the whole world, yeah. but I'm also hated by my haters. Of ah, course, okay. Ini kita cerita tentang kita tentang ah, haters ah. dan sebagainya. Ah. Okay, bila sebut tentang personality Chef Wan, okay, worldwide mana tahu dah siapa Chef Wan. Tapi in the same time, Chef Wan juga merupakan seorang yang lantang menyuarakan pendapat. Khususnya sekarang ni di media sosial lah Instagram dan sebagainya So, bila jadi begini Orang kita ni biasalah Haters ke, netizen ke hmm. Mereka akan Jadi, dia own judge Dia jadi hakim pula sendiri kan Dia tak suka Betul, apa tu dia buat persepsi Kecam Chef Wan Kutuk Chef hmm. Wan Jadi, macam mana agaknya Chef Wan Sendiri handle perkara ini Dan juga macam mana Apa yang Chef Wan I rasa I was asked One time On the show on BBC That's like I interview That how do I deal with all my haters you know, On hmm. one end You are loved by so many You are respected by so many, mm-hmm. but you also create all these enemies behind you, who sometimes often cannot tahan lah apa yang keluar daripada mulut you, kan? Yeah. And kadang-kadang also perjalanan history, my own life, like my own family, pun kadang-kadang, you know, for example, also become such controversial punya ni kan? Biasa lah. So uh, I still hold on this principle, you know. I told them if, if this is my Final destination Orang nak jalan ni kan mm-hmm. yeah, Nak jalan ni To my final destinasi Orang kata kan I'm bound to meet So many dogs Menyalak mm-hmm. ha, Kan Whatever I do Good or bad Mereka akan menyalak yeah. Buruk baik pun Dia akan menyalak ha, Ni manusia je perangai kan mm-hmm. So you know what What do I do What do I do Two things maybe mm-hmm. Satu Maybe Shoot the dog My god They're going to come back again Betul ha. Number two Maybe Want to ambil batu ni Lempar Instigate Orang balik mantikan You know what lagi ramai anjing-anjing yang akan datang But you know what I always believe You know Benda-benda manusia ni Yang, yang buat Ni lah yang apa yang ni ni I treat them as So kata Macam sampah sarap lah You mm-hmm. know like They like You know they, they like Dust particle pun je mm-hmm. You know macam like Ni ni habuk ni kan Quiz Let go mm-hmm. Let go And you know what Completely ignore them Because you know Orang putih kata Ignorance is bliss Ya yeah. Yeah, you know, for for they have not gone through mm-hmm. what I have gone through. Mm-hmm. For they have not experienced what I've experienced, mm-hmm. and therefore I must move. Yeah. Tapi takkan mengatakan perkara yang benar tu menjadi kesalahan. Mm-hmm. So for me, black is black, mm-hmm. white is white. Mm-hmm. If you don't like my style, it's not my problem. So my question back to all these haters: Did I do anything wrong by saying nothing but the truth? Yeah. It's simple, lah. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I forgive those people. So I will continue to move on to my final destination and you know what? A very happy man. Yeah. Because I have already maafkan orang kata whatever because they will learn. Mm. So eventually maybe mereka akan mature. Mm-hmm. Because mereka juga akan jadi seorang manusia yang bijaksana. But until such then, they have to be like me lah. Yeah. Melalui bagai dugaan, kutuk orang, mengata and all that. You know, uh, uh, dengar lah. So kalau mereka tak percaya pun, tak percaya apa cakap, it's okay. Hmm. They can continue Because you know what I don't have to answer Kubur dia orang yeah. I answer pasal kubur saya sendiri so That's why Wan selalu cakap Saya tidak Takut pada mereka mm-hmm. Saya tidak Minta orang kata Keredaan daripada mereka I don't need the approval hmm. What I need is Keredaan daripada Allah Eh hey, I'm not religious okay <laughs> I'm not religious Tapi Saya baca lah yeah. Saya buat tafsir lah mm-hmm. Saya faham lah mm-hmm. Kan Saya lakulah apa yang saya kan So, saya tak payahlah macam setengah orang asal semayang. Oh, baik kau baca kau semayang. Ah, lepas tu pergi lah setiap Jumaat nak ambil mimbar. Akulah ni kan. Ah, I don't do that. Yeah. I don't even tell people when I do. Oh, saya baru saja habis subuh. <laughs> <laughs> saya baru saja. Do I need to tell people? I don't. Because you know what? I don't need so. Yeah. Because that is between me and God. Betul. Kan? So, that's why people kadang-kadang, eh, how come ah? Uh, I pergi haji juga. Pergi hmm. umrah juga. But I don't have to announce the word lah. Huh. But the thing is, you know, one should never be afraid to stand On the truth yeah. Nothing but the truth Ya yeah. uh, Chef Wan Itu kalau yang hatersnya uh. Tentang kebenaran yang Chef Wan Soal kan Dia orang kutuk Dia orang kecap Kata-kata Tapi Tapi kan Ada pula sebahagian daripada mereka Yang setuju dengan Chef Wan Sebab dia orang kata Chef Wan ni tak berat sebelah Contoh kata kalau 
Keluarga sendiri Anak beranak sendiri Kalau buat salah Tetap salah Tetap kena bantai hmm. uh, Jadi c- boleh tak Chef aku kongsikan pula Bila terpaksa Tembak Terpaksa bantai Anak beranak sendiri ni Pada Chef saya kan? Anak saya hari-hari Kalau tak betul Saya tembak hmm. uh, Anak pun boleh tembak saya Kalau bapa tak betul pun Boleh tembak Because after certain time You know Our relationship is no more Like hubungan bapa Dengan anak It's more bapa Dengan kawan It's all every, ini, I believe in that Because I've always remained to be that person, you know. I never treat my my children as as anak, but more of a friend. Uh, anak pun ya, but then you know more more than that, you know. Because I want them to grow up to also understand me as a person, kan? Mm-hmm. But for me to be that person, I need to show them some good example lah, mm. leadership by example, mm-hmm. kan? So that's why I make sure that I do that. Walaupun bercerai I jaga my ex-wife For 30 something years I jaga my parents Jaga sedara Anak-anak semua I make sure dia ni Cucu-cucu pun Whatever Whatever I, I need to do I did it hmm. Yeah so, Sebab kadang-kadang um, In many interview They ask me kadang-kadang uh, Apa ni uh, How do I I see myself Kan I kata kan Saya kata I am what I am I say love me For what I, uh, for what I am I shall never be somewhere else that I'm not. You know, yeah. uh, I have to be truthful to to the core. Betul. Kan? Uh, this what you see is what you get. Yes. Kan? In life it too saja. Kan? It's like you know, if you're good, you go to shulga. If you're bad, you you end my night and I'm mm. in a rakel. So it, it's there's no like immediate between guys. So so you choose where you where which direction you want to do. Tapi chef, when bila chef one tepas tego atau pun orang kata tu macam hukum anak anaknya secara terbuka melalui media sosial atau media lah kan. Berat tak bagi Chef Wan Sebab satu Satu Malaysia Semua orang tengok Apa yang terjadi Antara Chef Wan dan anaknya Bergaduh Berbalas-balas Actually statement. kan Actually um, uh, Benda macam ni ya, Orang kata Mengaibkan all that, but, Tapi manusia ni bodoh Ah uh, Bodoh Sedap perkara benda macam ni Kalau dah terkeluar Contohlah macam perceraian anak saya hmm. uh, Macam baru ni dia kahwin Sok-sok kan Benda tu dah keluar hmm. So kalau orang dah tahu Don't you think as a father I have the heart to defend hmm. to tell the world when when I'm the last one to find out that my daughter got married again hmm. kan ataupun penceraian dia ke apa yang berlaku kan so for me being a celebrity your whole life is like in the sangka lah hmm. whether you whether you like it or not it's easy for the public to to say mm-hmm. it's easy for the public what about the whole world out there that speculating hmm. yang keluar cerita yang bukan-bukan fitnah and all that so don't you think Daripada kita tunggu orang mengeluarkan cerita bukan-bukan fitnah ni Bukankah lebih baik kita dari awal Put kita punya foot down And said Look This is the true story mm-hmm. Nothing but the truth mm-hmm. Because I stand only on this principle Yeah, That's it I wash my hand mm-hmm. And I move on And walk mm-hmm. Let's not forget tak Kalau orang burukkan I Mengaibkan I Malukan anak Dan ramai lagi orang yang tengok tu Kelang kabut kata, oh my god, anak saya pun buat macam ni. Oh my god, anak saya pun kurang hajar. Oh, anak saya pun akan ni. You know, because you know what? I became also a figure of inspirasi to a lot of people who also believe that at the end of the day, as a father, I have the right. As a father, I have a need. Hmm. So, you ask me, kalau anak you, orang yang cakap-cakap kat luar tu, yang mulut macam, <laughs> aku nak carut je kan? <laughs> ah, cuba kena batang hidung sendiri. Yeah. Kan? This is part of life. Hey! Penceraian kahwin baru ni is 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 is, is, is everyday thing. Hari hari berlaku pada engkau, jiran kau, everybody. Yeah. Adik beradik kita. Tapi the, the only different because I'm chef one. I'm chef one and suddenly I become very important lah. Suddenly the whole world kelang kabut nak tahu pasal bawa kain air ni. Nak selak ni. Ah, ha. ya semua nak tengok bawa kain aku. Ayo masuk. Ayo masuk. Ah ha, kan? Ah ha, kan? Yes. Manusia kan. Kau nak sangat. Aku kasih kau. Hmm. As a person I've always been a responsible person hmm. Jaga mak Jaga ex-wife Jaga I've done my part lah hmm. So orang tak boleh nak cari Sebab nak cari hmm. I tak bertanggung jawab hmm. ha, Tapi kalau anak I Buat benda-benda macam ni Tak betul Of course I tegur Kan Then kau pandai tanggung sendiri lah yeah. eh, Kau pula pandai tahu malu pula ke Kalau malu kenapa buat I'm simple Kalau malu kenapa buat Betul tak? Tapi orang tak fikir tu Chef Wan Orang fikir macam Oh Chef Wan ni mulutnya jahat Orang tahu Nak salahkan Chef Wan saja Tapi Chef Wan sendiri eh, Sebagai seorang hmm. uh, Manusia Sebagai hmm. seorang Bapa hmm. Sebagai seorang Ni ni, ni. Ha. Manusia ni macam ni lah You know Manusia ni kan memang cepat melatah yeah. Cepat meroyan ha. Mereka lebih suka uh, Judge and bring you down If they don't like you Even Even if they don't know you pun They don't like you hmm. So why bother? Tapi Chef Wan Why boleh? Menangis tak dalam hati sedikit 
Di rumah mm, di sebalik no, kamera Not really lah Because I'm a very tough person I mean there were moment You know Yes I feel sad About certain thing to happen But you know If if I let's say lah Nak menangis lah hati ke apa Maybe for that short moment lah I kept wondering Why Why benda ni boleh berlaku kan Sedangkan I ni Buat sebaik-baik yang I boleh Ya yeah, Sebaik-baik untuk menjadi contoh Pada masyarakat Pada diri I sendiri pun Whatever lah You know kan But and suddenly I have to shoulder All this masalah Daripada all my ex menantu Daripada my anak-anak And all that kan But this normal lah This normal But kalau orang tu cerdik Dia fikir and mendalami masalah Apa yang berlaku pada I They will see The true picture Siapa yang betul Siapa yang bohong yeah. Siapa yang cakap ni Siapa yang ni kan And that's it So in the end Apa yang jadi betul tak Ya yeah? Anak I kan Kahwin kan Cabut kan ah, Dampak lah betul-betul kan ah, So habis lah I rest my case lah ha. ah, So as a father You fikir lah <laughs> Is it the right thing to do Of course it's not Biar menantu aku polis pun Aku peduli apa Inspector ke Tiga paku ke Empat paku Kalau tak betul Tak betul So all you need to do Is put yang betul Dengan yang tipu So sekarang siapa yang telan siapa mm-hmm. Kan ah, Sekarang Barulah datang nak minta maaf Barulah nak menangis Barulah dia ada siapa kan uh, But nasi dah jadi kubur I dah terima malu dia dah I dah apa semua kan But listen when you look at it Who's who's having Who's who's the one who has to face all this problem Me hmm. The shoulder Kesian tau Kesian Orang tak tahu kesian hmm. Or, Syafa kata Syafa orang yang kuat Dah lalu macam-macam perkara kan Tapi Apa agaknya perkara yang satu perkara Yang mungkin Syafa rasa macam terlalu Terlalu besar Terlalu teruk Terlalu macam sedih untuk ditanggung oleh Rezwan Ismail tu sendiri Siapa rasa macam duduk ke menangis ke yang Oh tak ada lah Sangat lah I don't have I don't I one thing about me kan Very seldom you find that I really sit down to feel sorry about myself Because I am, am I'm a sort of person Selalu percaya lah kan You know You know Kalau 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 saya rasa lah Allah tu uh, Tak rasa saya boleh pikul sesuatu tu Dia tak akan bagi Hmm And every of all this pengalaman yang saya melalui juga is a lesson for me, is a lesson for those mm-hmm. around me mm-hmm. and termasuklah seluruh rakyat Malaysia. Mm-hmm. So if you're smart enough, you will learn mm-hmm. what is right and what is wrong. Mm-hmm. Betul tak? Betul. Yeah? In terms of parenting, keluarga, anak, menantu pun semua kan? Tanggungjawab tak tanggung jawab? Kan kalau kau kahwin, kau tak bagi nafkah, isteri kau like how? Kan? So that's why for me saya memperkata perkara benar. Kalau saya boleh jaga menant apa boleh jaga my ex-wife yeah. sampai masuk ke liang lahat for 34 years. She has never married you yeah, know and I took care of everything. Tiap-tiap bulan bagi duit 3000, 4000, 5000 bila banyak kan. Biasa 10000 pun biasa bagi apa semua kan. Every month. My sister pun I jaga juga. I took care of so many saya ni seumpama payung besar. Tiap-tiap bulan nilah Duit bagi kat situ You know hmm. Bukan senang okay And how many people Nak buat on top that Rumah kebajikan saya Rumah orang tua Orang cacat Kanak-kanak cacat bersemua Semua saya buat Sampai saya pergi income tag Income tag Tengok all my Resit-resit Pengarah income tag ni Cakap saya Satulah you and Shaiwan I respect you huh? Not only you took care of your ex-wife With all these ratusan medical bill Your mother sampai 150 ribu duit cancer Alzheimer dementia a month huh? You seorang tanggung okay And then you know all this Kebajikan yang you bagi ni And I really respect you So for people to look at me And judge me like Whatever lah Like I said lah you know I don't need the public ni approval Yang saya perlu Keredaan ni lah di atas Ya yeah. Syafan Jaga uh, Bekas isterinya dulu Sampai ke Hujung nyawanya kan Kakak-kakaknya juga Maknya ni Cik Ani ni Ramai yang suka tengok Syafan juga Cik Ani Kita ni kan uh, Tapi ada yang kata Macam standard lah tu Anak kena jaga mak Atau ayah mereka Tapi diorang tak faham sebenarnya. Bagi saya lah Saya tengok Syafan dengan Ada uh, restorannya lagi Dengan cooking show Dengan Ambassadornya <coughs> lagi kan Kesukaran macam mana Tempat Syafan tempuh Nak macam You know, pengobanan yang kepada Chef Wan lakukan Untuk pastikan Ibu bahagia, keluarga bahagia In the same time Kerja Chef Wan juga Okay jalan Like I say lah, you know Life is full of challenges Let's not forget Life is also one you sacrifice Kan Banyak anak out there yang really Betul-betul Ikhlas nak sacrifice Untuk 
menjaga kebajikan ibu bapa mereka ya yeah? not that many and kebanyakannya walaupun adik-beradik pisang satu tandan tu mereka akan tolak kejap orang tolak baru jaga sekejap ah, ambil lah mak ambil lah you know because tu why masing-masing cannot cope with her stress lah you know that and for those people who don't understand dementia alzheimer tolong google dia eh this day google baca je lah ya yeah? so when you really understand the problem that these people had to go through is not an easy task mm-hmm. uh, to jaga mm-hmm. but then you know what uh, i always believe that is something yang very honorable mm-hmm. yang Allah beri wan peluang untuk menjaga ibu saya yang sekian lama just not forget lah banyak orang mak 60 50 dah mati 70 dah mati dah meninggal mak apa sakit kencing manis darah tinggi ya nowadays 50 70 Allah tu pinjamkan saya untuk buat kebajikan bantu my mother jaga dia and she's going to be 90 soon you know so imagine how many years i had the opportunity untuk berjasa kepada seorang yang bernama ibu. Mm-hmm. So, if I don't take the opportunity, I must be a fool. If I can take care of my ex-wife for that long time, 34 tahun ke 35 tahun tu, you know, ini kan ibu saya. I don't want to lecture banyak-banyak lah here to ceritakan satu dunia why it's important for seorang anak menjaga seorang ibu. So, kalau biasalah tengok ceramah, biasa mengaji Quran tu, biasa buat tafsir tu paham-paham sudahlah. Uh, kan dan letih dah kita tak ya tak tak that, that is responsibility you know. tu. Yeah. So dua perkara aje orang cakap ya. Tosalah nak cik fikir pasal keletihan, pasal keuangan nak keluar, pasal nak rasa kedekut, pasal nak sayangkan masa kita, pasal kita nak jadi selfish we one time on our own or because my wife tak suka my mother or my mother-in-law tak tak suka mother-in-law I why 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 that's your problem. For me every manusia have their own personality, their own past history, what you like, what you don't know that. So It's up to you. No one is forcing you to take care of your father, your parents, or your or your mother-in-law, your father-in-law. No one. It's up to you. Yeah. Kan? Chef Wan, yang awak nampak sekarang ni di media sosial ataupun kebanyakan orang tahu, Chef Wan banyak berkongsi tentang uh, penjagaan ibunya, macam mana bahagianya bersama dengan ibunya. Tapi mungkin kami tak tahu pengorbanan yang pernah dilakukan oleh ibu Chef Wan sendiri untuk Chef Wan dan juga adik-adik. Ada tak mungkin... Momen ataupun orang kata yang Paling membekas di hati Chef Wan I think my mother In so many ways Is a lot like me I, I'm blessed to be born with a parent Both my father and mother Who are very hardworking people mm-hmm. And Hardworking to the point where Every year dia beranak lah <laughs> ah, Kan Buat anak macam kilang biskut macam tu kan oh, Very healthy dulu kan Touch and go <laughs> ah, No problem you know So, but then they believe in working hard and 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 and, and earning and, and taking care of the children. Yeah. So I noticed that in my mother. My mother is such strong. I think a lot of me is also my mother in this spirit because my mother is not so funny as me sometimes. You know. But other than that, Ma is a person who's very hardworking, very dedicated. You know, she will spend time. You know, for the family. Ma, I tak pandem. Cici tu pasal hal orang campur campur dengan jinjingan. She's not the kind. She's very homey, very this. So I think. Oh, Uh, that's my mother you know and then my mother also put up a lot of of of, of stress as well you know raising seven children gaji askar yang kecil and then masuk felda lepas tu susah you know that uh, so kita sebagai anak-anak kita nasib baiklah ramai adik-beradik ayah kita pun semua jenis dia tanggungjawab so i think very lucky uh, i see that from my mother she's a, she's a woman uh, with substance mm-hmm. um, you know always orang uh, 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 kata uh, berkorban ya jaga anak Uh, dia satu manusia yang 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 sangat uh, uh, dermawan as well. My father pun like to give my mother. So from there, I also became that same person because we feel that you know um, life is not just about us. Bagian rezeki kita rezeki orang juga. Uh, so for that, I have a lot to thank my mother lah. I think a lot of her her, her wonderful uh, personality and spirit yang ada pada mak yang 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 hari ni juga ada pada diri saya I learn you know you you can't help that lah you know hmm. so for that I, I have a lot to to to, uh, to salute my mother to respect my mother uh, for her kindness you know uh, for her love and for compassion and empathy that I see in my mother uh, in raising the children dia tak ada discriminate people around her 
Uh, but in the end, you know, so you know what I have today is something that I felt very blessful that Allah bagi one. Uh, walaupun one tak ada warak macam orang 24 jam kat tika semayang, blah, 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 you know, but then I'm still, uh, you know, I'm still a, 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 a relative, a, you know, a, a good and responsible person. I try to be kind to people because I understand you can never go wrong by being kind. Yeah. You know, uh, I try to be nice to people all the time. Uh, tapi, but you will notice also one ni jenis bila baik, I can be baik sangat dengan orang. Tapi kalau orang pijak, I, uh, nanti I will sting like a bee. Yeah. Uh, so that's why one selalu cakap, don't cross the line. We share one, don't cross the line. Hmm. So, so, and to be here today, to be invited to speak out very openly about how I feel about my journey, my life history, my story, and and and, and I can't help feeling very proud. This is what you see, is what you get. Yeah. So that's why, kalau ada lah suara-suara sumbang di belakang yang tak suka share one and all that, and that's okay lah. In life, you know, you don't owe anybody anybody. Betul. So manusia kena belajar hidup. Atas diri sendiri Atas prinsip sendiri So that's why People must understand that Dah ada pelbagai kejayaan Dah berapa dekat dalam bidang ni Chef Fan uh, Pengiktirafan Ada pengalaman Di usia sekarang Ataupun di uh, tempoh sekarang ni Apa lagi yang Chef Fan rasa Chef Fan nak Apa lagi yang Aku nak buat Apa I lagi aku nak capai know, You know it's funny though People I get this question that You know but Throughout my life kan One tak pernah really set uh, A certain Orang kata Uh, a goal up there Yang I need to achieve Something in life You know Yes I want to be something But I also believe sometimes That you cannot be Everything mm-hmm. You know So as you move on this life Once I look back You know My Orang kata uh, uh, Motto lah hidup Is always been Orang putih kata Okay Sarah Sarah Whatever will be Will be mm-hmm. Because you have no control mm-hmm. Of your final destination mm-hmm. You don't But what you can do Is to work Hard To do something That you're passionate And mm-hmm. you suka To achieve something You need And then let it Orang kata Naturally Progress and happen Tapi dalam masa Dia beri kita semua peluang Untuk berjaya Ke whatever you call it ya, Daripada mula Ke sekolah you know, then, Dia juga akan bagi kita Bagai-bagai cabaran Kan Supaya kita ni Masak Dengan pengalaman hidup tu That's what life is Life is a celebration Kan? Takkan hari-hari aja you expect life to be good all the time. Kan? Life is on kata like like a roller coaster. Kan? Siang jadi malam, malam jadi siang and kita diduga. Betul. Kan? So it's all that. Ya, yeah, itulah dia. Kalau bersama dengan Chef Wan, memang tak cukup masa sebenarnya. <laughs> <laughs> tak cukup. Tak cukup waktu sebenarnya banyak lagi soalan yang kita nak uh, bualkan dengan Chef Wan yang kita nak korek lagi sebenarnya uh, kisah Uh, kejaya Chef Wan Kisah hidupnya Tapi itulah dia Waktu sangat mencemburi kita uh, Banyak juga soalan kita tempat sebuah Tapi insyaAllah Kalau ada rezeki lagi Kita akan bersama dengan Datuk Rezul Ismail lagi InsyaAllah dalam story of Sudi insya Datuk Allah. Ya boleh insyaAllah InsyaAllah insya Jadi kepada anda semua uh, Jangan lupa untuk Like Share Comment Siri kali ini Dan juga follow ke semua platform uh, Sina Plus Dan juga kepada Datuk Rezul Datuk Doktor Rezul hmm. Ismail uh-huh. Chef Wan kita Terima kasih banyak Chef Wan hmm. Sudi orang kata tu Curi juga waktu dalam kesibukan tu kan Untuk bersama dengan Sina Plus Terima kasih banyak Sama Dan, And of course uh, uh, To all the viewers Ya yeah, Saya ingin ucapkan terima kasih You know For watching the show lah uh, Mudah-mudahan InsyaAllah dengan apa yang Pengalaman yang awak melalui Ya yeah, uh, Dan apa yang saya kongsi tadi Dapat menjadi uh, Sedikit orang kata Inspirasi Yang yang bagus tu kita belajar lah Yang buruk tu kita tolak sebelah Kan uh, Because after all I'm just a, a normal human being Ya yeah. hmm. So cakap tadi This what you see is what you get yeah. And kepada uh, Sinar apa Sinar Plus tadi, yeah, Sinar Plus Uh, terima kasih uh, atas jemputan uh, hari ini And thank you to also all the crew uh, Yang ada hari ini di studio You know uh, And of course to you as well uh, For inviting me eh. um, um, Ini ada ke? Ada <laughs> <laughs> Eh sempat Nampak ni uh, Business sempat is lagi. business ah, okay. <laughs> Oh sempat lagi oh. Bukan apa Kita buat benda ni semua pun kerja amalan yeah. uh, Benda yang baik You know, ada benda yang kita kongsi pada orang yang akan datang menefaat pada orang ya? Alhamdulillah yeah, InsyaAllah ya? Assalamualaikum yeah. semua Ah, Dan semoga Chef Wan kita terus uh, sukses, uh, sihat dan juga terus disayangi ramai insyaAllah Jadi you. kepada anda semua, nama saya Eddie Junaidi InsyaAllah kita jumpa lagi di siri The Story Of yang akan datang pula Sampai kita jumpa lagi, jaga diri Assalamualaikum semua Bye, Bye.